Well, everything looks normal, except nothing looks the same as it used to. Starfish man, there's no way across. <laughs> you again. And there's that phone again, too. Why, why? for my magnificent visage. My perfect penis! Hello, Starfish Man here. Who's calling, please? It's me, Starfish Man. I'm the only one who ever calls. Oh, yeah. Dreaded Patrick's posters are plastered all over town. Use your blow attack to remove them. Stick him up, dreaded Patrick, and Starfish Man knocks him down! No more postering for you, dreaded Patrick! It's turning! Go, little windmill! Your supercharge will allow you to break through weak paper walls. Handy, huh? Time to go with that The people of this street will no longer have to look at your ugly face. Hey, wait! No more postering for you, dreaded Patrick. Up with your propaganda! Look for clues in the timing of the gas. 
Starfish Man's boutique in store. Starfish Man, blow on all the tall things in this area and they'll spin round. Why would I want to do that? They're concealing something. Spin them all around and you'll find out. Ooh, mysterious and exciting. Man, no matter, you won't defeat me. Again? Well, there's that ringing. Must be coming from close by. Hello, phone guy. I'm a sorry. You're having the wrong number. No problem. <laughs> huh? Hello? Hello, Starfish Man. One more thing I need to tell you about. Every time you see one of these tabs, you will be able to pop up some useful stairs. Go on, try it out. Well, thank you, phone guy. Starfish Man, can our caped hero save the day? How can Starfish Man hope to defeat his evil schemes? Why am I asking so many questions? Let's put you with your friends, little seed. Oh no, that poor man. He's on the train tracks and he's oh, naked. We must stop the train and get him dressed. But how? Excuse me, don't you have super strength? Hey, good idea! Oh. Think you can stop a train? You can't even stop a cold! No way, that doesn't work. Drat it! Starfish Man triumphs! Well, aren't you gonna thank me? Well, I don't see why I should. I'm still in peril. 
but the train stopped. I know, but can't you see I'm naked? I'm not going anywhere without my clothes. Never fear, naked citizen. I, Starfish Man, shall find your clothes, and you will be embarrassed no more! Oh, the Starfish Man! Who's a good sleepy seat? No time for window shopping. There are clothes to find. Go me! That guy has got good taste. Too many shots. So you found my whole outfit. You need to get higher up, Starfish Man. Pull the tab. This would look so good on me. Of my outfit, 
not going anywhere. This neighborhood needs to be cleaned up. These villains are giving it a bad day. What is this place? Why are there pictures and statues of Dreaded Patrick everywhere? Why did that door shut behind me? So you found your way to the Dreaded Patrick Employment Fair. Perhaps you'd like to meet my new recruits. <laughs> Citizens of this town have to put up with your evil ways. You haven't seen the last of me, Starfish Man. Look, it's the last piece of that man's outfit. Dreaded Patrick had it the whole time. I better get this lot back to him. <laughs> Starfish man, you're back! And with my outfit! Thank you, oh thank you! All in a day's work, my friend. Now you look after your clothes more carefully in the future. We're so glad to see you, Starfish man. The whole town's been overrun with dreaded Patrick's goons. We need you to clean up the town, and quickly! Sorry, urgent mayoring to be done. I'll see you when you've cleaned up the town! Oh, clean up the town, eh? What I need is laundry detergent. Lots and lots of laundry detergent! <laughs> boy, oh boy, the mayor's gonna be pleased with me! <laughs> will be clean as a whistle in no time. <laughs> this town is gonna sparkle and shine once I'm done. Whiter than white? Sounds like it'll do the job. Here you go, Mayor. I've collected all this laundry detergent. Now we can clean up the town together. What are you talking about, Starfish Man? You've already taken care of dreaded Patrick's goons. Thanks for your help. Must go, places to go, things to do. <laughs> but what am I gonna do with all this laundry detergent? <laughs> That doesn't matter. I dare you to find my secret lair and have a showdown. Boing. Spring, right there. Starfish man, prepare for a showdown? Yes, for a showdown. But I wanted to say that. Hm. Hello? Hello?
Starfish Man has arrived at the dreaded Patrick's ultra-secret lair. What does the arch-villain have in store for our intrepid hero? Has dreaded Patrick decorated his lair with purple or blue stripes? The plot thickens. Oh, Starfish Man, so glad you made it. You're just in time to see the culmination of my evil plan. <laughs> Look up there, and you'll see that our pointy friend here is about to become Bikini Bottom's first fish in space. These guys are always getting themselves into scrapes, and look who has to save them. Me. You'll have to beat me there first, Pinky. Let's go, Mr. Elevator. Go mess with Starfish Man. Do I have to do to get rid of a superhero these days? We should do it! How is the surface? Here I come! Curse you, Starfish Man! Try these on for size! I'm a hero, Bob! <laughs> I to get back to you. How is this jolly Cerise Squad managing to thwart me? Give up my pitiful excuse for a sea creature. Hoops in space. Must be for a reason. Still tied to this rocket. If I can wiggle my foot, I might be able to steer it. What I'd love right now is a crappy patty. A big, giant, delicious patty. But that one. But hold the pickle. Dad, the laser beams! The cushions? Some new drapes? Would be a nice place. Where am I now? It seems so obvious now. I'll hide in here and I'll be safe. I should probably stop talking now. Thank you. 
Back to flying through space tied to a rocket. Patrick defend the space station from a destructive hail of asteroids? Did you know that Latin for starfish is Asteroidia? Could this be an amazing coincidence? Flying around with the wind in my hair. Except there's no wind. And I've got no hair. What more to know? You can no match for my new space lasers! Oh, they blocked the door! Open Sesame! Let's try that again! to open the door. Sure you don't mind? Nah, I don't even know why we got that in the first place. You know how it is. You're shopping for a rod, you see a nice energy crystal. You think that would look nice, but when you get it home, you've just got nowhere to put it. Doesn't look good. You're the hiding place, creature! 
against a mutated, angry fast food product. What would SpongeBob do? I know! Take off his wings! It's Patrick Head to Head versus the Krabby Patty UFO! Hold on to your quantum destabilizers, folks! My quantum destabilizer destabilized once. Well, actually, it just went... <laughs> That's what you get when you mess with Space Patrick! So long, Wing! So it'll be fried patty for everyone. I'll just hide it. Roof to roof battle is heating up. <laughs> 
the starfish is bravely battling on, but the plankton is getting closer. And we'll be back after these messages. It's... now. to tonight's live edition of World's Greatest Rooftop Encounter. Tonight on the show, When Plankton Go Big. Come on, Starfish Man. You need the power of the sponge. It's uh, <laughs> Come on. 
News just in. The plucky starfish <laughs> is making his final stand against the colossal might of the. Do you mind? We're trying to have a titanic battle here. Sorry, we'll try and keep it down. I'm glad to finally got here, starfish man. Now this is the shrinkifier ray. The trouble is, it keeps disappearing down these hatches. It's mighty annoying. When you do catch up with it, just. Charge it up and fire! I've got to go. I did it. They're serving you close. Bye-bye, buddy. You can do it, starfish man! Did you see? I think it was protected. Go Starfish man! Okay, now I'm worried. And you say that you have been experiencing dreams, hmm? Dream you join us at the mind-bending carnival raceway for what promises to be an unusual race. It all looks perfectly normal to me, Rick. Three, two, one, go! Go, rocket ship. You can do it. I'm always getting left behind. See you at the finish line, SpongeBob! Do you know the way to the finish line? Oh! Hey, SpongeBob! Hey! Watch out with that ballot! Hello, worm guys! I don't like it. Spooky. Hey, look, 
SpongeBob, you're in my dream! I hate to disappoint you, pal, but it's definitely my dream. You certainly don't see that every day. Not unless you live here, which you don't. Go, rocket ship. You can do it. And look at the young competitor, Patrick Star go. And where do you think he gets that name? I give him up. The fair! I love the fair! What's it like being in my dream, Patrick? I bet it's pretty cool. Oh, don't be silly, dream SpongeBob. It's my dream, not yours. Hello! Hello, Dream Plankton! Stop trespassing in my dream, you! I don't even know your name, and you still curse my dreams. That's funny. I thought I was cursing my own dream. Zoom! Oh boy, oh boy. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. I'm the fastest starfish in Dreamland! This is simply the most extraordinary race I have ever watched! You think he knows what's at stake, Dale? If there's one thing I know, it's that I know that he knows what's at stake. And what is at stake, Dale? I don't know! Well, let me tell you, the Patty Trophy is just the beginning! The real prize is escaping from this bad dream, and that's a prize that money can't buy. My rocket's faster than yours. What lovely form you have, Mr. Monster. Hello, worm guys. Who threw that? Can you believe that? If I hadn't just seen it through my own antennae, I don't think I would have believed it. This place is strange. It reminds me of home. Oh boy, oh boy. Go, rocket ship. You can do it. Thank you! Thank you, everyone! Well, this is a dream come true! Huh? Hey! No fair! Stop moving! Come back and be easy!